Crash Bandicoot as the Doom Guy, Trunks as a Tekken 7 character, the Starry Night painting in a Synthwave beach scene, the Hyundai Cyberpunk car in this typical Vaporwave retro 80s themed wallpaper, the baby of Master Chief and Doom Guy, and beautiful shots like this. Mid Journey's new blend feature is amazing and that's what this video is all about i'm addy welcome back to analog dreams and today we're talking about the new blend feature featured in mid journeys update that just released tonight at the time of recording they have a new channel in here called blend showcase you can go up to the pinned comment to read the faq about it they just announced that it's coming out you're welcome to test it give some feedback and so on they have this showcase channel for you to showcase your blends and then they have a q a section that shows it now what this effectively just does is takes your dual now effectively what this does is it takes two image sources and just blends them together without a prompt so it's basically the same as using two image prompts without any textual prompts but it creates some really amazing results with the right images and you can actually do up to five images blended together and this works with niji journey the i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's the anime version of mid journey that they released i haven't really talked about this yet it's been on my list to make videos about i have a link to the server for it in the description below so you can do the normal mid journey style or the more anime tra trained style uh, with that as well and it's pretty freaking wild now this does work without any prompts so if you're wanting to add in any more customization you can't really do that unless you turn on remix mode by going to your settings Type slash settings, hit enter, and then you're given all your settings for your default, like which version of Mid Journey you use, which quality you're doing, uh, you know, what, how much stylization, the upscales, the whatever. There's a remix mode here, which means when you click the V button for a variation on an image, you can then add in a prompt or additional image prompts or whatever to help further refine the image that you were generating, which is really freaking cool. I'm going to turn that and beta upscale on as beta upscale seems to be required for this. But I mean, look at some of these results that I have gotten. Now, obviously, you need to see some of these source images that I combined here. But here I took an image of Crash Bandicoot and the Doom guy from Doom Eternal. And you got a pretty Doom looking Bandicoot guy. Took an image of Charizard and Crash Bandicoot. That looks really uncomfortable to me. But that's a pretty good blend. Other than the weird thing hanging out in the corner. I took... Sundance from Battlefield 2042 and combined it with the movie poster for Blade Runner and while the face got kind of messed up we can claim that back and the hand is obviously jank it always is we got a very like early 2000s CGI version of Sundance that's pretty convincing at a glance at least here I took this really cool scan line filled kind of image of a typical vaporwave beach and combine it with starry night and you get those same clouds and that same painterly design but with the vaporwave color scheme the kind of blurriness and look to it I really dig it. So to use Blend, come on over here to, I have a whole private server set up for mid-journey usage and other AI related things. I have a whole video linked below on why you want to do that, but it's so I can have all these threads and all these organization pieces for me to keep track of what I'm doing. Now I have this under Merch Ideas as literally just a scrap channel where I make threads for these videos. And you just type slash Blend. Now again, you can use it with mid-journey or niji journey and then you have up to five images you can combine. It has a drag and drop field. So as a time saving thing, you can just drag images from websites. Pre you know, presumably in most cases, if you're doing any sort of professional or paid work, you need to be using royalty free images, libraries you have access to, or you know, public domain images, but we're, we're doing personal stuff here just to show it off. Drag the image over, bam, loads it right up. And now we want Knight Rider. I want a cool 80s Knight Rider scene. You know what? We'll just drag on the poster. It's going to mess up the text and things like that, but let's see what happens. We drag on the poster, hit enter, and it's going to combine them just as two images without prompts. Now, it pulls up those drag and drop fields, or you can click to select and view an image. See, if I do flash blend, you can click, and it will give you an upload prompt for a file. If you're on mobile, it's just going to basically give you options to upload from your camera roll, so you'll want to save the images locally. Not only does this save you the hassle of trying to do this manually in the first place, and it does a better job in many ways of style transfer and those kinds of things than, say, Adobe Photoshop does, it saves you even more time by just letting you drag and drop images, which is really cool. I will say, thus far, I don't know if it's because they're just being hammered because this is a brand new feature at the time of recording or what, but it has taken a very long time for these renders to kind of kick off. So in the meantime, I'm going to do slash blend and do an easy journey one, and I'm going to drag on as image number two, Bakugo from My Hero Academia, 
and Judge Dredd in the first one, because the X on the Dread helmet kind of reminds me of Bakugo's Xs and things like that. So I wanted to see what those would look like. And in fact, I can drag on more images, so it, where it pops up and says image 345, I can do image 3 and image 4, and then you just kind of scroll over to get to those other hot zones. And we're going to find another image of Judge Dredd here. Kind of dig that one. Drag that on there. The order of images in my testing does not matter. I have drug on a few before, and it hasn't really seemed to make a difference. Like, I've, I've tried swapping the order, and I more or less get the same result each time. Gonna go ahead and hit enter on four of these images, two of each, and let that render. While we're waiting, we can browse some of the Blend Showcase images to show you all the kind of stuff they've been coming up with. One of the things that they demoed was that you could effectively generate what, you know, one of those generators of this is what the kid of this person and this person looks like. You can kind of do that with Midjourney here. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure I'm convinced that that's a good job of it, but it, it's kind of an interesting thing regardless. This is a pretty cool one. They combine this beautiful shot of a red tree in a field, almost kind of infrared, with a crazy ornate twirling staircase and got a beautiful building with some leaves on it on a staircase and field. I love some of these results. I want to see if I can find the... There's one I want to show you. Oh my, that's a creepy view of a 1960 and a 2022 Corvette. <laughs> there it is. Here's a combination of the... <laughs> the iconic Tobey Maguire dance scene and the Joker dance scene. Oh, that's cursed. Sonic and Pikachu, of course. Ooh, see, some of these are wonderful. I It's really hard. Uh, I don't know if it's because of my ADHD or what, but whenever I go to record these videos, it's very hard for me to conjure up examples for the sake of examples, and this is really hard when it comes to skill learning in the first place. But then whenever I have a specific thing I want to do, it is significantly easier to be like, oh yeah, I have this tool at my disposal, this is the use for it. So like, if I was wanting to make a cool piece with this kind of like dragony thing or this lake, combining them together, absolutely turned out awesome. But it's hard for me to come up with examples in the you know, as we're doing it, which is why I'm showing this. And frankly, just use this for inspiration in the first place. Like, use this to try to figure out, you know, what you want to do and what some ideas might be for you to generate. And these gorilla images turned out great. They removed the background in Photoshop and then combined them with other scenes and stuff. Wild. Obviously, Midjourney really struggles with hands and hands holding things, and that kind of sucks. But it's doing faces really great now. Now that, combining a completely abstract thing with a face, you can do some wild stuff there. Different animals as like statues kind of things. All right, we can look at our examples now. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Dredd is in Bakugo. Oh my goodness. It almost takes the mask into like another, like the old art style, but like number four down here and number one. And kind of number two other than the mask feeling kind of off. These are wild. And of course we have the Knight Rider X the Hyundai concept car. Perfect fit. If you want to put it in other environments or whatever. But oh my goodness, the Bakugo Judge Dread. I love it so much. I love just doing cursed stuff like this as the examples since I struggle to come up with like cool artsy stuff. A lot of it though is just having like the cool source images in the first place. Like what are you working with that you want to combine? Actually, this would be a good opportunity to kind of blend together some of the stuff I had generated way back in the past. So give me just a second. I want to play with this real quick. I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to show, like, some cool stuff, you know. Okay, right, so here's a giant dump of some stuff I was capturing from old, old, this is probably Midjourney 2. So stuff I ended up abandoning, but loved the concept of. Okay, here we go. So let's combine this. Hang on, we're going to come in here. We can combine this cool scene with like a, 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 a Miyazaki scene. Like, actually, right here. That's the style. And obviously, I could like regenerate it in this style. That's not the really the point of this kind of exercise, but. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it just keeps like that style, but gives more of the cyberpunk kind of involvement while still having the fantasy castle. I love this. Okay, we have this one. I actually made a notebook out of this. The Space Emperor, dude. Do I have the final? I do. We'll use the notebook one. All right. So we're going to do my Space Emperor, dude but also with the Judge Dread. 
No. Yeah, Judge Dredd fits better. Let's do Robocop. Let's... Is he, like, stylistic enough to show up? Eh, we'll do Judge Dredd again. Do we have a clearer shot than that? Like a whole upper body shot? Don't want to reuse that one. I mean, obviously he fits into, like, the X-Men style a little well from the original comics, but... I am the law! Uh, what if we do that one? I don't know how it'll handle the, like, glow effect, but we can try it. Alright, here we go. Judge Dredd in my Space Emperor scene. I love it. It's very close. I think that one's the closest on the helmet. The rest of them are more closer in style. That one kind of looks like Thanos. And then it starts adding, like, a bad guy in there, like the movie poster. We can mess around with the remix filter. So we have these options here from our Ghibli slash cyberpunk sci-fi combination here. Now, I'm loving this shot the most. So we're going to say version... A variant on version 3, but then we need to add a prompt to it. That's what the remix feature is, is we can now add prompts to it. So we have to describe what the thing is. So we're going to say, actually, what was that original? The cool thing is if you save out mid-journey pieces, it gives you more or less the prompt that you started with for that image. So I can come in here and find it. Tel Aviv, futuristic, here we go. I'm just going to copy it from Explorer. Futuristic. City, close up, cyberpunk, surreal, system, in the style of Hayao, Hayao Miyazaki, what am I going to say, what do I want to add to it, I want to add, with dragons flying in the sky. So it should, what the remix feature does, and I'll have a whole dedicated video on this, is it uses the same composition as the original image. A lot of those details that you would normally take from the seed and things like that, and then builds onto it with everything else you add to it. We got more or less the same composition, same scene idea as before. We scroll up here to the Ghibli one. But now it has added in are dragons. Now, I don't think it necessarily did a good job with that, personally. I kind of dig this one. But you get the idea. Like, pretty cool. You may be wondering what's up with all the black bars or the weird frames in these images. When you do a blend, if you have different aspect ratios for your source images, Midjourney doesn't really know what to do with the black bar portions, because that's a significant portion of the image when it, you know, puts them on the same square, and it doesn't really know what to do with them, so it tries to fill them creatively or in an inspired way and sometimes if both images completely differ it'll just do black bars or colored bars so you just have letterboxing or something like that in other cases it will try to fill it with certain content and so you can see on one of these it tried to just kind of awkwardly expand the frame and if you remix an image it can sometimes fill it a little better so like with this i tried to remix the judge dread bakugo one his hair starts sticking out above the frame but that's it otherwise it just treats it like a comic panel so the goal here if you want you know to fill your square when remixing, then you need to go in with Affinity or with a mobile app or whatever and crop your images to be the same aspect ratio, be it one-to-one, -one, widescreen, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but make them the same aspect ratio and then it will spit out a much more full image. But of course, if you have something that's super wide that you know isn't going to fill the same aspect ratio as whatever you're working on, then you gotta pick and choose and maybe use in-painting and Dolly or Midjourney or Stable Diffusion or something to fill out the rest maybe or something like that. In a nutshell, that's Blend. It is amazing. It combines multiple <laughs> images into one in a way that we've had tools that promise they can do in the past, but this just does such a better job at it. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what cool stuff you're coming up with for the Blend tool and what you're thinking about it in the comments below. Join us on Discord, discord.gg slash equalsvox, where we have a whole AI art thing channel where you could actually create a thread and start using Midjourney or Niji Journey if you want for yourself over on our server in a more quiet place where you can share with our community. And if you're like, well, that's cool, but Midjourney is expensive and I really don't want to pay for the credits, then I have this video right here on Nebula available early where I show you how to set up what is now my favorite GUI 
for Stable Diffusion. It's super easy to set up. It runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I have the first tutorial up on Nebula now, which is for Windows. I'll have Mac and Linux coming very soon. My videos are earlier and ad-free and higher quality over on Nebula. It's a streaming site I built with my creator friends. It is 100% creator owned. And if you sign up for an annual plan, one third of the revenue goes directly to me immediately to help fund what I do here on my various channels. And the rest goes to building out this awesome creator owned video site and the features and supporting all of the other awesome creators over on there. That's nebula.tv slash analog dreams, specific videos linked below. And if you're just looking for what you should do with your AI art, check out this video on how it can make your YouTube thumbnails and even your YouTube videos themselves a lot better. Remember to be kind, rewind.